Assalamu alaikum and welcome to my YouTube channel Cyber Muni. Today we'll discuss how to search supervisors for your master's and PhD degree like whenever you are applying for a new degree, research based degree basically. It is important to work under the supervision of some uh, very good researcher, some top rank researcher. Uh, so basically there are three steps that need to be taken care of before searching supervisor or like while searching supervisor. Uh, first of all, uh, before searching supervisors, it is important to finalize your area of study like um, you can be working in electrical engineering, you can be working in uh, cyber uh, computer science, but it is important to finalize your subdomain. For example, I, I'm working in electrical engineering, I want to work in the cyber security, I want to work in the machine learning. So uh, finalize what field of study you want to opt. And then once you have finalized your field of study, you need to find out the research groups working in that field. Let's say I, uh, I want to apply for machine learning in uh, Canada uh, what I will write machine learning research groups in Canada so these are all the machine learning research groups that are working in the, in Canada let's say I open this one University of Toronto so this is the machine learning group working in uh, University of Toronto next what I have to do is to find out the people so these are all the faculty members there could be option of people faculty or similar things so you uh, you need to find out their faculty members and these are all the faculty members working in this in this group next what i have to do i have to find out their research profiles like their google scholar profile let's say i open this one roger and i search for roger cross so this is the research profile, Google Scholar profile of that researcher. This will give me an idea what are his current research interest or what exactly is working at the moment. For example, uh, he's working in the implicit uh, function theorem. You, uh, make sure to select the year from here instead of cited by. And he's working in the preserving gradient flow. So this will give me uh, some basic idea that what are his current research interest. And if these match with my research interest, I should apply for him. Um, similarly, uh, let's open another research group. Um, this is for um, University of Waterloo, Artificial Intelligent Group. So here, uh, this is the research group uh, um, in University of Waterloo. Then you can go to our people. There you will find the faculty members, faculty. So this is how uh, the first option works. That uh, uh, how you will find the uh, specific research groups same you can go for instead of Canada you can write Australia and there's the research group working in University of Adelaide so that's how you search uh, for the specific research groups the next thing is you need to find the university or the faculty members of um, uh, the specific field that you want to work over let's say I write University of Melbourne electrical engineering faculty this will give me a list of all the uh, faculty members of University of Melbourne. Then what you have to do further, the same step, you need to search the research profile in Google Scholar. Let's say I search for Helen Christina in Google Scholar and see if her research interest matches with my research interest Then I should proceed further to apply. What I have to do, I have to email her that I am interested to work under her supervision but do not randomly email, do not just uh, keep on like uh, bombarding the emails of the supervisors do an adequate research before contacting them the third thing is uh, this thing is normally not followed by most of the students but this is quite useful you need to check the editorial boards of top rank journal for example in communication one of the top rank journal is IEEE communications service and tutorial I'll write editorial board so this will give me all the editors and associate editors and uh, area editors of the uh, IEEE communication service and tutorial so these are all the editors so the all of these people are working somehow related to the communication some are working in the game theory some are working in the auction theory some are working in um, smart grid but these are related to communication so you need to find out top journals of your field and then contact the supervisors that i want to work under your supervision but make sure to do a significant amount of research before contacting any person similarly uh, you can say top research 
channels in electrical engineering. So these are all the top research journals in electrical engineering and you can find out the name of journals and then go to their editorial boards and then start contacting the supervisors um, that uh, you have done this and you want to work under their supervision. So these are the three important things. Uh, one of the things that uh, is important to remember, make sure not to spam anyone's inbox. Like do not just keep on uh, texting them, emailing them that uh, I want to work under, uh, under your supervision, like 10 emails, 15 emails, just send one email and wait for their response for like one week, two week, three week. And then you can send another email reminder email but do not email any further um, and uh, do not apply to anyone without doing adequate research over them so that's all for today's video thank you for watching do not forget to subscribe to my channel and keep you updated with the recent research work thank you bye bye